people don't realize just how important geography is. We actually can understand the world we live in better. Geospatial information is becoming more and more and more important. Geography Awareness Week is always the third week in November, and it was first established, I think, in 1987, and we've celebrated it every year since. GIS Day is, a, is the Wednesday in the middle of the week, and it's a GIS, ge geographic information systems, are really leading geography, I think, into its second renaissance. 75,000 new jobs will be created a year using GIS technologies. And the, the, the folks that understand GIS are relatively few and far between. And so the, the need for new skilled workers who will have this kind of training is, is tremendous. And that is during, during Wednesday of that week, groups are celebrating the ways in which GIS is, is being used to make improvements in our lives. When we learned that there was this GIS Day celebration, part of Geography Week and all that, we got really excited because the National Zoo does a lot of GIS. But we have a special niche in the GIS realm because we work directly with a lot of different animals in different countries, different cultures. For example, there's a lot of panda GIS going on in the National Zoo. We have Asian elephants in Myanmar. We do GIS with jungle elephants in Gabon. Um, there's golden lion tamarind work in Brazil. So we thought, well, we have this fantastic venue, the Amazonia Science Gallery, and it would just be great to bring all the different parts of Smithsonian together to celebrate GIS, since it's such a widely used tool. The level of geographic understanding or literacy in this country is still extremely poor. Even though we have spent a lot, many years at it since those days in 1988, now it has become this return to the classroom. Teachers are being trained around the country, but it's still not anywhere close to where we need it to be. In fact, we just conducted a poll a few months ago uh, with the Roper organization. What we found are some fairly shocking statistics. Despite near constant coverage of Iraq in the, in, in the news, six in 10 young Americans, that is 18 to 24 year olds, those who are very likely themselves to go to Iraq cannot find or locate Iraq on a world map. M many more cannot find uh, Afghanistan. We asked some simple questions that, that every business person is going to need to know, like if it's noon in New York, what time is it in Los Angeles? And we found a third of young adults could not answer that question. In fact, many of them thought if it was noon in New York, it must be noon in Los Angeles, which is a little bit of a surprise. And, and you can imagine the ramifications of that. Our whole life is geographically based. We elect our leaders from geographical regions, constituencies but very few people look at them as geographic units. Salesmen sell to a territory. It's theirs and it has a boundary. It's a geographic location. Geography isn't really taught in schools. People don't get it. And yet what they do, all the things they use, where they come from, are expressions of geography. We've got a group of uh, corporations that have large installations around here who are coming and describing some of their programs. We've been looking at a touch table down in the foyer of the cinema, which is wonderful. You can look at anywhere in the world. And so the students are getting a feel for the technology like that. Uh, what we hope they take away from this is a feel for the technology and a better understanding of the interconnectedness of our global existence. We've come to realize there's a huge demand for GIS, so we have started to have students from let's say the political sciences, anthropology, public health that are coming to us for a GIS education. So we decided that every GIS day we use a different theme. Last year it was public health, this year humanitarian assistance, next year we're going to try for something environmental. So we want to open it up to, to the GDUB community and show the variety of positions that you can get if you do have training in GIS. We've been talking to, all day today about the different projects and the different areas around the globe that we're working on. And uh, because the USGS is so big and so large, we don't really have a good way of marketing ourselves. And I think today, GIS Day provides a good opportunity for students to um, realize that there are opportunities. We found that it's a great way for people to spend a little bit of time out of their very, very busy year and think just about geography. 